In this video trade, we're gonna look at the covered put options trading strategy. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Okay, so the covered put is when we are short shares and we also sell an at the money put in an attempt to get some premium back as well as being short the stock. So it could be already short and it comes to a level we think, okay, you know what, that's not gonna go any further, but I wanna take some premium from selling these puts. Or it could be a strategy that you employ directly on its own. Let's have a look at the payoff graph and let's have a look at some examples of prices and values expiry to see if it's something that might fit in with a trading thesis you've got for a market out there already. So the, the, um, the danger of this is you have unlimited upside risk. Obviously, when you're short, you do have that anyway. In other words, if the stock rips off into the stratosphere, you have potentially got unlimited risk if you're short the stock. You should know that with shorts, uh, that's the way it, ha it always works. Now, even when you're selling the put, that doesn't cushion that. It takes a little bit of the loss away, as we'll see in a moment, but still, it, the lowest it can go is zero, um, the puts and the, the highest the stock can go is, is whatever it is into the moon, which means if you're short, you're on the hook for that. So you probably got to have this as part of a strategy where you've got a stop loss in for the short already. Um, you've also got limited profit potential. So it, not necessarily from the stock going to zero, but where you sell this put is ultimately uh, really caps the profit. So if this thing suddenly goes bankrupt, if you've got the put sold quite high, uh, you're not gonna take any of the money from that any further on. I'll show you that in a second, but that's something to consider. It's something where you think that the price is gonna stay where it is, um, but you still wanna be short the stock for whatever reason. So let's imagine XYZ trades currently at 45 bucks. We sell, um, we sell short 100 shares at $45. We also sell one $45 put, which is at the money, and we get $200 credit for that. So the total is we receive $200 credit on this deal. Right, so what happens in different scenarios? So at expiry, that could be any time that we decide, okay, as long as it's all the same, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be a week, could be three months, could be a year, uh, whatever our thesis is. So let's have a look at the value of the stock if it goes to 45. Um, 45 means it's done nothing, okay, it's just sat there. So the value of the short trade is zero. But what's the value of the put? Well, the put gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to sell something, the sell, in this case, um, XYZ stock at 45. It's currently trading at 45, so there's no value there. So that's good for us because we've sold that to the guy. It's worthless. We've received the $200 credit. We'll take that. Thanks very much. We've made nothing on the stock short, but we've received $200 credit. So that's good because if it just sits there and does nothing, uh, we wouldn't have made anything if we hadn't have sold that put. So that's a good outcome for us. That's 200 And notice that's exactly the maximum that we can make. And I'll show you that with the 40 example at 40 So if the stock goes down to 40 if we were naked short uh, 100 shares, we'd have made $500 on that deal. Um, because the further it goes down, we're 100 shares short, and we're making um, $500 from the difference between the 45 we sold it at and the 40 we'd have covered it at. Um, but however, we've got the put here now, and the put is going to have some value. It's gonna have $5 worth of value because the right to sell something at 45 at 40 is $5 worth of intrinsic value. The buyer is definitely going to exercise that, and he's going to claim his $500. But he paid you 200 for the contract anyway, so the net really is $300 lost to you. So you've made 500 on the short, but you've lost $300 on the contract deal. You're down, uh, sorry, you, you're up $200, but you can see how that's capped. So even if we go from 45, go to 40, we even go to 10, it's the same because the put is still gonna be worth, start to be as valuable as the short stock. It just means that you're offsetting the loss on the other and that you're always gonna have that scenario. So that's something to consider. But let's look at the other side. Let's look at the stock suddenly starts to rip up, uh, goes to 55. Well, that's no good for our short position. We're down a thousand bucks on that because it's $10 times a thousand, a hundred shares, sorry down a thousand bucks, uh, but we've received $200, don't forget, from this uh, put option, which is, which is worthless, because the right to sell something at 55, uh, right to sell something, sorry, at 45, but 55 has no value, so we receive the $200 credit on that. So we can take that off the loss of the thousand dollars, and we receive, uh, we pay $800 loss if we were to cover that at 55. 
And you can see that however high we go up, we're still gonna lose a lot more on the stock, but we're gonna receive this $200 and cushion the loss very slightly by writing or selling this put option here. So the best case scenario for us is really if we're short a stock, and we perhaps all sh we've perhaps been short already, and we think, you know what, this thing might stagnate a bit now. People are a little bit nervous and are really uh, buying these put options because they're scared it's gonna go bankrupt or whatever. You don't think it is. You'd like to remain short though, uh, for whatever reason, and you wanna take some premium in. So that's great for you, because if it expires at the same price and stays there, nothing happens. You collect all that premium and you'll still short the stock, which you wouldn't have had. Of course, the opposite, the flip side of that, or the, the, the offset of that, if you like, is that if it does go to zero or it does go bankrupt or the short thesis does play out more aggressively, you aren't participating because you've capped your profit potential at the level that you sold that put option for. And the other thing as well, guys, is also that if that put's quite expensive, you're selling that, it cushions your loss a little bit. If you're wrong and it rallies back up or even this is a brand new fresh trade, it cushions the loss a little bit and it gives your break even a little bit different uh, scenario as well, doesn't it? Because instead of uh, your break even if it goes up by let's say it goes up by two dollars you've lost two hundred dollars on that short position uh, you'd have made money on the put option you sold at 45 because it's currently at 47 it's got no value so your break even then becomes two dollars higher so it can sit anywhere between there and you've actually made some money up to that point so there's a lot of things to consider with this and potentially it's got a part to play in a trading strategy uh, with some of the markets that maybe you're already watching anyway that's the covered put guys shorting shares selling and at the money put. Take care, whatever you're doing. Goodbye.